I am back with my weekly pregnancy update. I can't believe it, 34 weeks pregnant. Now I'm midway through my 34th week. I am so excited and happy about it. Um, I've said this the last few weeks. I mean, I've been continually excited, but it's like now that we're in the single digit week countdown, I wake up just so excited every morning that I'm another day closer. And we're actually in the, um, well, let's see what's today. It's Wednesday, so I think there's 30 some odd days. It's like we're in the 30 day, you know, period now. <laughs> Not quite, it's still a little bit more than 30 days. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but it's getting close. I'm so excited. Um, so as per usual, I'm gonna go through my week in pregnancy land. I've got my notebook here, so I don't forget anything. Uh, I'm gonna go over to start kind of general stats, symptoms, things that have happened. I'm gonna answer some of your questions in the middle portion that you guys left in the comments last week. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you um, show you a couple of things that are nursery related. I actually didn't make it to my mailbox this week, so I don't have um, those things to show you this week. Um, so if you sent me something and you're concerned that I didn't get it, I, I apologize, I just didn't have time with Thanksgiving. Um, but I will be going soon, so I will have, I know there have been a couple of packages at least I get email notifications um, from my mailbox place when I get packages. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. This is totally not useful information. Anyway, I'll share those things next week. So, stats. I gained a pound this week, so I'm back to 27 pounds total now through 34 weeks. I had been up to 27 pounds at 32 weeks, and then last week I lost a pound, um, but now I'm back. Um, so, the weight isn't coming on quite as fast anymore. It's definitely slowed down. I think a lot of it, to be honest, has to do with the fact that last week, the last couple of weeks, I've just been super, super busy um, in my house, like running around in my house, <laughs> um, especially with Thanksgiving week, and I'm gonna talk about that in a, in a minute, but um, I basically didn't sit down all week. Um, so I <laughs> probably burned a few more calories than usual, but um, it, you know, I still feel like I'm in the healthy range and I, and I feel good and I know that she's getting bigger because my bump keeps getting bigger regardless of the scale kind of now wavering. I don't know, I might gain like five pounds next week, who knows? I'm really not concerned about it. Um, like I said, the bump is definitely, to me, it gets noticeably bigger. And I've noticed actually in, in the past week that it goes through spurts. Um, so I think it was Saturday night, not Saturday night, it was Saturday. I woke up Saturday and I looked at my belly in the mirror that morning. I was like, whoa, something happened between today and yesterday. I feel like it just bumped out even more and it's definitely more pronounced. Um, and it's kind of funny because it's starting to affect my balance a little bit. I've always had really good balance actually, even though I'm generally pretty klutzy. Um, I have good balance. So I guess that's a good thing when you're klutzy to have good balance. Um, but I've noticed in the past few days, I'm not quite waddling yet, but I've started tottering a little, if you know what I mean. I feel like, and it's just about equilibrium, like keeping my balance. I feel like I'm kind of walking more with this sort of side to side motion. Um, so yes, that's been an interesting development. Um, let's see, symptoms. Um, really, I've been really feeling really, really good. Um, so I did have some foot swelling last week, but to be honest, I have that every year at Thanksgiving week because I am on my feet so, so much. We host every year. It's a big to do and I, and I just really enjoy kind of redesigning my house around the festivities and it's, it's just a lot of, you know, on your feet time. Um, so I'm sure they, welled up a bit more because I'm pregnant, but like I said, it's something that happens to me every year. Um, so it wasn't like totally out of the ordinary and the swelling has gone back down. Um, so I haven't, I haven't actually like swollen anywhere else, you know, any more than usual. Some days I retain more water than others, so I get a little swollen, but I haven't like had to take off my rings or anything yet, so. 
there's that. But I know like when you get even further along that that can be more of an issue. Um, and the other thing that happened to me was, and it's, I don't know, this is kind of silly or not, but my belly button got really, really itchy um, earlier in the week and a little bit kind of upset looking, like a little inflamed. It wasn't like doing anything gross. Like it wasn't, you know, there was, there was no grossness. It was just, it was just different. So I actually called my, um, my nurse to ask if she thought it could possibly be infected. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't infected. Um, and what if anything I could put on it because it was just so itchy and you don't want to scratch your skin really ever if you don't have to. But especially when you're pregnant around your belly area, um, you don't want to scratch because scratching can kind of accelerate stretch marks and skin issues. Um, and I haven't had any stretch marks at all um, as of yet, which I find surprising because I'm definitely prone to stretch marks. Um, I've have I've had them on my like upper outer thighs since I was like 14 or 15. Um, but honestly, I haven't gotten any really since then, and those are really faded. Um, but I haven't had any on my belly yet either. But again, that's another thing that can happen later on. Another joy of pregnancy. But honestly, I really could care less. Like a stretch mark is like the least of my concerns. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, the belly button. So she told me that she thought it was probably just the skin stretching, if there was no like foul odor or discharge or anything like gross, that it was not most likely not an infection and that I could put like, a little Neosporin on it, which I did and just to keep it like clean and dry, which I do anyway and it's and that only lasted a few days and it's been fine ever since. So it's not really that exciting of a symptom. It was just like something different. So I thought I'd share it. Um, I think that's all I've got. Oh yeah, uh, baby has been moving quite a bit. She's been super active the last week. I feel like she's been pretty consistently active that I've noticed throughout like the second trimester and the first half of the third trimester, but I feel like she's even more active now. She's doing a lot of rolling movements, a lot of stretching. Um, she gets the hiccups a couple times a day. Um, she she actually got her, I'm pretty sure this is what happened because that's what it felt like. She got one of her feet kind of stuck in one of my, in like my lower rib just for a second. It popped right back out, but that was a weird feeling. Um, she definitely, you know, she's definitely still very high up. She's pushing up on my lungs and my diaphragm. So if I've been short of breath in recent videos, <laughs> That's why, and I do notice that I just get winded more easily. I've maintained the same fitness level, but um, just because my lung capacity is, you know, a little less now, I just, I definitely get winded more frequently, but she's definitely growing. She's, according to my What to Expect app, comparable to the size of a pineapple, which I think is a funny thing to think about having a pineapple in your uterus. But anyway, um, I just, I also think it's kind of cute. So there's that. So they don't really grow a lot in terms of length, apparently at this stage. On average, babies at 34 weeks gestation are between anywhere from like 17 to 19 inches. This is on average. This is not necessarily my baby. I have no idea, but these are just statistical averages. And they weigh somewhere around 4.9, you know, somewhere around five pounds, basically. Um, so she's getting bigger. Basically from now on, she just packs on weight and not necessarily as much like length, um, statistically speaking. Um, and then let's see what happened this week. Well, the big thing, obviously it was that it was Thanksgiving. And like I said, we hosted, we had, uh, like a, about 20 people, a little bit more than 20 people this year. So it was a man, it was a manageable crowd, but I still did the whole thing where we moved the furniture around in the house, you know, out of our co combination living room, dining room. We just totally moved the furniture basically to the perimeter and we take the table all the way out and the coffee table all the way out. So we have, um, we take up the area rug. So we have like basically a big room and we rent tables and chairs. We rent round tables. We've been doing that for a year, a few years now and it just works out really well. Um, for us and in, in that kind of like big party setting. Um, and I set it up the way I always do. I vlogged about it. You guys can see that video uh, if you want to. I 
um, posted it yesterday, my vlog about Thanksgiving, but um, I did, I basically did the same kind of hostessing that I have done for the past eight years. Um, I cooked the same number of things, I baked the same amount, um, I did the same amount of prep work, and I basically did the same amount of cleanup. Um, and I felt really pretty good throughout it. I was actually pretty surprised at how much stamina I had for the week, because it was, <laughs> It was a long week. I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it and tell you I was absolutely totally energized the whole time. I was exhausted by the end of each day, every day. Um, and I just now feel like I'm like really back to normal and not not tired from it. Cause it was a lot, it was, it was a lot of time spent on my feet and I think that was probably the hardest part about it. Uh, but I did have as much help as I always have, which was wonderful with family bringing sides and appetizers too, so kind of sharing in the, the load. And Don obviously cooks a lot as well. Like I said, if you saw that vlog, I make a turkey, he makes a turkey. Um, I make a potato side dish, he makes a potato side dish. And I provide like all the cold snacks and all of the desserts and then everybody else kind of fills in everywhere else. So that was kind of the same as always. And I had a lot of help with cleanup, which was nice. Um, you know, after dinner with the... When he's dreaming. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was super cute. Um, people always pitch in after dinner and like help bring in the dishes and load the dishwasher and stuff. So, uh, you know, it was, it, it was, it was, it worked out beautifully. What can I say? Um, like I said, my feet got really tired and a little swollen, but what, that's pretty much on par with all of the other years that I posted. Um, and it was just, I felt, it felt really nice to be able to throw Thanksgiving kind of the way that I've become accustomed to and feel like I could do it and not be really slowed down by my pregnancy. Um, I felt really, really energized going into Thursday. So after, on Thursday I started to get really tired, but it was, it was good. I had a really good time and, and uh, you know, it was, it's always so much fun to celebrate with our loved ones. <laughs> She's having quite a dream, I'm sorry about that. Um, Anyway, like I said, I am going to give you, uh, there has been some progress on the nursery. I've got the curtains in and I had them cleaned. I wanted them to lay better, so I had them professionally just dry cleaned. And the rug's in now and the paint has been up for a while and I, and I finished the, at least the starting point, kind of bare bone structure of the closet. So I am going to take you in there at the end of the video. Um, but first I'm going to answer some of your questions that you guys left in the comments last week. Um, the first one was about decorating for the holidays and if I'm going to be doing less than I usually do because I, I usually go all out. You guys know I'm totally seasonal holiday lover of all things decor um, and I generally put up you know, we put up two big trees and a couple little trees and and I do a lot in a house, like on all of the levels to decorate. And uh, because baby girl is due so soon after the holidays, I decided this year to take a more minimal approach to decorating. It just, to me, it makes sense. Um, we already have a uh, our trees are up, our big trees. I wanted to have the tree in the living room and the tree in the family room. I honestly think I'm only gonna trim the tree in the family room this year. Um, and I put out a couple of the decorative things in the family room and the living room. Um, I haven't done anything upstairs. Um, I'm probably gonna do the garlands on the stairs because I really like those. And I did the outdoor lights. I did those like in mid-November. Um, but we didn't. We don't actually plug them in until the night before Thanksgiving. So that's all done. That looks good. And and it's just it's easy stuff to you know. Don could even take those down. It's really easy um, if I'm not able. But um, definitely taking a more minimal approach than usual. But I love having my house decked out for the holidays. It, it makes it feel more holiday to me, so we definitely have some things up, but it's less. And I've actually been purging through, um, you know, I've been doing it like a home purge this year, and I haven't been posting as much about it lately, but I've continued to purge. Um, 
and I've been focusing kind of on the decor and every every holiday season when I'm putting out stuff for decorations I purge at that time um, you know things I've just been kind of downsizing on decorations um, in general but still definitely a holiday kind of themed gal <laughs> so there's still gonna be stuff and I think I'll probably show that in like a casual vlog like video I'll show you guys how I've decorated for this year um, if you're interested in that let me know but um, yeah yeah, definitely, definitely less. I'm trying to be realistic about it, but I'm also trying to honor, you know, how I like to have my home for the holidays. That was a really long-winded answer to that question. Uh, I was also asked if I feel like I've been more anxious since I've been pregnant. Um, apparently, some people can get kind of more anxious just being in crowds or you know, in cars or just more anxious in general and pregnant. I've actually had the opposite experience. I have become increasingly less anxious of a person since I've been pregnant. And actually this has been a, something I've been working on very specifically for like the last, I don't know, 10 years. But in the last couple of years, I've made huge progress in that area of my life for sure. And I noticed a really distinct change when I became pregnant and I continue to notice that I just am more laid back and comfortable and just less anxious in general. I just feel like I've kind of settled into my own more and I feel very, very secure in who I am and where I am in my life. Um, so being pregnant has definitely given me a boost of confidence for sure. Um, I feel like this is what I've been waiting for my whole life. I don't mean to get like really cheesy here, but um, you know, I've been waiting to be a mommy my whole life. I'm gonna like get like emotional because you know, pregnancy, emotional, it's an emotional thing anyway, but I'm just so excited to finally be at this stage and uh, and it's just giving me so much more confidence than I've ever, ever experienced in my life. So I have definitely felt less anxious. Um, I'm definitely better in social situations. I'm definitely not as concerned when traveling or in a car or anything. I just feel just more confident and comfortable in general. Um, and that's definitely affecting all areas of my life in a very positive way. Okay, and the last question I got was about baby wearing and if I'm planning on doing that. And I'm planning on trying. <laughs> you know, you kind of have to see what your baby likes because not all babies take to it. But I do have two, two different kinds of carriers to start. Um, I have the Ergo 360 with the infant insert. Um, which I actually bought a really long time ago on Super Sale during Nordstrom's anniversary sale, I think that was. I did a whole blog post on that. Um, my haul from that, that was like my first big baby haul. And then I also just ordered on Cyber Monday the Solly baby wrap, which is more of a, um, well, it's more of a wrap obviously, hence the title, uh, and because uh, they had a great discount and that I've <laughs> kind of been waiting. I bought, waited to buy a few things like baby clothes and things like that until the sales this past weekend. Um, and I will be doing a baby clothing haul soon because I bought a ton of stuff between Carter's and Baby Gap. Um, so I'm just waiting for those packages to come in and then I'll show you guys what I got. But those are the two carrier-like things that I bought to start. I thought they were both kind of different but with great reviews and you know great user reviews so um, we'll see if she takes to either of those or maybe I'll try something else um, but I'd like to ideally I'd like to be able to to do baby wearing and but it like I said it totally depends on her preferences so yeah those were the questions for this week if you guys have any baby or pregnancy related questions that you'd like me to answer please leave them in the comments below and I will pick three for next week and Don and I will be filming a couple's Q&A 
soon, probably not for another couple of weeks. Probably, I wanna wait till we're a little closer to the due date. I will give you guys ample um, notice of that, so if you have questions for me and Don, or just Don, you can ask them at that time, but just please save them until then because I'm not gonna be able to look back at like five videos and try to pick out questions. I will announce that in an update at some point in the next few weeks, and then you guys can ask those specific questions then. Um, so now, like I said, nursery update. Um, first I'm gonna show you the thing, the one thing I got that is small enough to show you on camera and it actually just came in the mail. I am super, super excited. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see because it's much longer than I can show you on camera. It's a little tangled because I had it sitting here, but I bought the most beautiful butterfly mobile from uh, on Etsy and it's from a shop called Olivia and Oliver. She's based in Canada. She makes beautiful things, not just butterflies. I looked at, I would say like at least a hundred different butterfly mobiles on Etsy that were just lavender. That's how many different people make um, lavender butterfly mobiles. But um, this was by far my favorite. I just really liked how delicate it was. I love the ombre, how it goes from light gray to purple, and I love the little um, crystal beads on the end. Now, I am planning on hanging this over the crib, but I am planning on hanging it fairly high, so there'd be no way Baby could reach it. And by the way, Baby's not gonna be sleeping in her crib for a while, but, uh, I just think it's just darling and it goes beautifully with the nursery. And that being said, I'll take you in now and show you guys um, an update of what it looks like. Um, Cause like I said, we've got kind of all of the like decor in with the exception of anything for the wall. I have some wall art already that I've had since I was a kid that I'm gonna use. But uh, let's go in and take a look. So here we are entering baby's room. It's a little dark today. The sun's kind of in and out, but you can kind of see the progress we have made. The walls actually look a lot lighter in person than they're translating on camera. They almost have a really, 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 really soft pinkish tone, but it's mostly kind of this almond and I just love it. And then we got the area rug from Restoration. It's RH Baby and Child. It's Restoration Hardware's baby thing <laughs> and as well as the curtains which I'll take you closer to. I have the shades up now so um, when the shades are down it's actually kind of a nice soft darkness um, but these are just so beautiful. I love love the butterflies and the colors just go perfectly with the wall between the wall and the rug. The rug needs to be um, vacuumed but yeah and then <laughs> This was a fun little splurgy purchase I made from Pottery Barn Kids. I just fell in love with it. It is so super cute. So um, it's probably not going to be exactly in that spot, but it's just there for now. And of course, Winnie's baby bed is there. So I'm just going to kind of point out where the furniture is going to go um, as I've planned it. So we have the dresser with the attached hutch is gonna go on that wall. And then my glider is gonna go over there and there's a little side table that goes next to it. And then the crib is gonna go on a diagonal between the windows and that's the furniture. Um, and then of course I'm gonna show you guys the closet. Here is the closet with the new doors on it, which I'm loving. And I got these little glass they're not actually glass, but they're like acrylic, but look like glass doorknobs from Pottery Barn Kids. And I am actually think I'm gonna order more of those for the dresser um, to match. And the furniture is, is kind of this brown color. Um, I would say it's sort of this like medium brown color. And it's from Romina. I think I mentioned that. Um, but I put together the kind of the beginning structure of the closet. And I'll just give you a look. I already had um, installed the back, that bracket is the weight loading bracket. When we moved into the house, it's, and we've lived here for eight and a half years now, and I had the top shelf in, but I didn't have anything else in because we weren't really using this room as a guest room or I didn't really need the closet in a functional way. And I thought down the road, I can make it whatever I want it to be. And so I bought some pieces, some shelves, 
And this is the configuration I'm starting with. Now the great thing about Alpha is that I can totally change this around. When I start filling in the closet, if I feel like it's not the right configuration, it's just so easy. The things just, the shelves just like clip into these hanging standards and it's just very, very flexible. But I thought this was a good starting point. Um, so I don't have a, I'm gonna, not gonna hang a ton of her things to start because most of her like sleepers and onesies and pants, which is what I'm kind of assuming she'll be in most of the time, will be in the dresser. But I wanted some hanging space and I made it a little bit short um, because, you know, she's not gonna be very big for a long time. But again, I can totally adjust these shelves in any way down the road. Um, so I just did some storage on this side, some hanging space on this side. Um, and there's lots of space on the floor. I picked up that basket from the container store just to see how I liked it. Maybe to get several of them to put on the bottom for toys and things. I mean, she doesn't even have that many toys yet because it's going to be a while before she's playing. But I also wanted to leave kind of a large area to put bulkier, bigger items if I needed. Like, um, I'm not sure what, but I, you know, it's like I said, it's flexible. And then there's storage up top as well. Um, and I had the light replaced in the closet. It was a fluorescent light, which I can't stand. Um, and I had my handyman swap it out for a normal light. But that is the nursery as of right now. I do have this one little corner. I'm kind of thinking down the road. I can't really find it. Like, I don't really need another piece of furniture in here right now. And I'm not really sure what to do with this, but I'm thinking down the road, it might be cute to make like a little reading nook with like, and hang some like curtains from the top and make it kind of a little tent-like place. I'm not sure, this is not right now because she's too little for that, but um, that's the room. I hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek. I will do a full room tour down the road once everything's said and done, um, but I think it's a good start and the furniture's coming soon, so that will definitely be <laughs> really helpful. Isn't it beautiful? I'm just so excited about it. It's definitely come together a lot girlier than I had anticipated at the beginning. I've just kind of gone with the flow and like picked the things that's felt right and you know I've had Don's input on it too. I mean he really doesn't care that much to be honest but I always ask him for his input and things and um, it's definitely taken a more of a girly vibe than I expected but I really like it. I, I really like it. It feels so cozy and beautiful and um, that was kind of the vibe I wanted anyway so if it's a little bit on the girly side that's fine she's a girl um, and I got really really good news last week I called the furniture store that we bought the nursery furniture at if you guys have been following these updates for a while you might know that I just really didn't know when the furniture was gonna come we ordered it back in September but it's actually Romina furniture which is made to order in Romania and it can take 12 weeks but also then they take a long break for the holidays so we just weren't sure if it was gonna be um, you know produced and shipped before their holiday break or not so there was always a chance it wasn't gonna come before she did well I called last week to check on the status of the order and it's already in the States and it's being you know it's coming through, <laughs> it's being shipped now, so um, they think I should have delivery within the next couple of weeks. Yay! <laughs> so I will have nursery furniture very soon, which is making me super excited, um, so I can get that kind of all done. I mean, I wasn't really worried about it, but it is nice to have it done before she gets here and be able to put things away and kind of have everything arranged. Um, so I will be doing a full nursery tour for you guys once it's done. I honestly don't know when that video would go up, if it would go up before she's here or not. It depends on, you know, the time I have to finish things in there and, you know, make the video happen, but I will be sharing with you guys, so um, you can stay tuned for that. But I'm just so excited it's coming and I can put everything together before she gets here, you know, unless she comes super early, but I'm hoping she stays stays safe and sound inside and gets strong and healthy um, up until her due date would be ideal, um, but at least close to it would be, would be best anyway. Um, so that's my update for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind words. 
as always, I just I just feel so much love and support from you guys around my pregnancy, and it, and it really means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I hope you guys all are having a wonderful week. Happy December, and I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.